hope they catch them soon. Loyal drugstore patrons rush to check on their neighborhood pharmacist and clerks. It's horrible to, to have these people tied. Uh, three armed men with guns and ski masks entered the CVS in Port Jefferson Station just after 3.30 a.m., say police. Went straight for the narcotics with a gun to the head of the employees, restrained with duct tape. We're trying to find out if um, if the people who were tied up are okay. Um, we're not allowed to speak about anything. Tied them up, stole drugs, stole drugs and uh, money, and they followed the car from Suffolk to Nassau. The thieves escaped on the Long Island Expressway, followed by Suffolk police to the border where Nassau took over. The vehicle apparently disappeared in Queens. Law enforcement now investigating similar drugstore robberies in Glen Cove, Valley Stream, and Beth Page. And the NYPD reports a drugstore robbery in Queens Village and another in Ozone Park that two remain unsolved. Law enforcement can only do so much, but everybody has to, you know, join in and help. The opioid addiction crisis. Right. Customers ask, are the suspects addicts or peddling the stolen opioids on the black market? Desperate people doing desperate things. And there was that horrible drugstore robbery in Medford a few years ago. That was my pharmacy. And yes, drugs. People are desperate. David Laffer murdered four in the Medford Pharmacy Father's Day 2011. His wife, Melinda Brady, the getaway driver. These are the far reaching uh, elements of a national public health crisis where violence plays into it, where desperation and innocent people get harmed. Stephen Chasman of LICAD said this is a cry for accessing treatment on demand. I think the government too should do more. I, you know, when you hear that they cut the budgets for this, that, and the other thing. Drugs are horrible. I have my son, three of my son's friends died this past year, drug overdoses. Shoppers here say they have compassion for addicts, but not for armed robbers and want them caught soon. From Port Jefferson Station, Jennifer McLogan, CBS 2 News. No one has been hurt in any of the robberies. Amphetamines, oxycodone, and Percocet were among the drugs stolen.